Best Yay, day. first day! Celebrating the first day of school with her kids, that was 29-year-old Brenna Swindell's last post on Facebook before she disappeared on Thursday. The mom of three is the daughter of former UT and Major League Baseball pitcher Greg Swindell. That's what you play for. You play for the title. You play for the ring. Brenna Swindell was last seen on Thursday, August 22nd, around 1020 at night at Pooty's Hilltop Roadhouse, a bar on State Highway 71 near Lazy Hills Drive in Spicewood. She was there with her ex-boyfriend, Morgan Guidry, and it's believed the two of them may have gone to Colorado in a white SUV like this one. Swindell's family posting on Facebook saying they're especially worried because both she and Guidry's phones have been turned off since Friday, and she's usually good about keeping in touch. Swindell's mother says Guidry has an arrest warrant and is, quote, violent. APD opening a missing persons case saying they, too, are concerned about Swindell's safety and immediate welfare. And while Morgan Guidry's father says he's not sure where the pair are, he also says he's not particularly concerned that they're in any sort of danger. Speaking with me on the phone Monday afternoon, Morgan Guidry Sr. acknowledged his son was charged with assault in July, but said to me this isn't under duress at all. He isn't a violent individual. He's super chill, adding they decided to make a run for the Canadian border. It was a bad call. Guidry also sending us these notes he says were left by his son. One reading, I went back to spend one last night with her. Another saying, off to travel the world. Love Morgan and Brenna. See you on the other side. Swindell is described as 5'10", 140 pounds, with brown hair and eyes and tattoos on both arms. The SUV is a 2022 Kia Carnival, Texas plates VFS 7528. That SUV possibly seen in Colorado Springs or Denver. And tonight, new court paperwork just into Fox 7 Austin is shedding new light on the incident that led to that assault charge against Morgan Guidry. Uh, it was back on July 7th. Uh, Swindell said that Gid Guidry apparently tried to strangle her, that he grabbed her and slammed her head onto the floor. Her ear was bleeding, and he apparently had a gun and threatened to kill her, but then fled the scene before police got there. So, of course, we're continuing uh, to learn more about the backstory here. But in the meantime, if you see Brenna Swindell or you know anything about her whereabouts, you're urged to call 911 or call APD at the number on your screen. We're live outside APD headquarters tonight. I'm John Krinjak, Fox 7 Austin News.